everybody, Gina here from State Joint Secrets. We're here with Shepard. I'm so excited. <laughs> I've been waiting to talk to you guys forever now. Okay. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Of course, we got to talk about Hallapalooza. That's why you guys are here this weekend. Yeah. How has it been? Um, we haven't been to the festival just yet. We have. Uh, no, okay. no, no, no. We just got in today, and okay. uh, we're so excited for tomorrow. Oh, you guys are have so much fun. Yeah. We've got a friend who's in there already, and he's, he's like telling me how amazing it is. So, yeah, oh, we're, we're stoked. So what time do you set tomorrow in case people want to catch you? I think we're at about 1 o'clock or maybe midday. 12.15. I think. One of those times. <laughs> I've got a little fancy uh, hey, good fancy schedule that tells us where to be. We just for these where moments. do you have to be tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to be at Lollapalooza. Good. <laughs> no I'm pretty sure we're on. Like, wow. we're, yeah, we're one of the first bands on in about the last two months. So. Yeah. Okay. yeah okay. Have you guys done like an American festival before? Uh, we've done like radio, radio festivals. Okay. We, did, we did one in, um, it was, it was, I think it was called BFD in San Francisco. And that was epic. Like, that was insane. There were so many people there. We don't really have radio festivals in Australia. Yeah, yeah not, not to that extent. No. So, yeah, interesting experience. But this will be our first, um, yeah, big official. So, I don't know what you call it. Yeah, because we can just pick a, that <laughs> So, what I guess is the difference between making your set list for uh, a tour versus making the set list for something? Well, I mean, I guess you know, people uh, at Lollapalooza might not necessarily know who we are. I mean, you, you play to a whole range of people that might not necessarily be your fans. When you're on tour, you know, you can put like songs into the set list that you know, like fan favorites and right. people that are really listen to the album are going to enjoy, but that might not be. So appropriate for like a festival scenario, like maybe some slow acoustic guitar songs you might not make it into the set tomorrow. But yeah. um, I think for the most part, it's, it's all it's all pretty much the same. Like we all just love a good time, no matter what venue we're at, no matter what stage, no matter how many people are there. We always just kind of try and have the best time that we possibly can on stage. You guys have such a good live performance. I've seen like so many awesome videos. Just the way that you all kind of. You don't even seem like you're a band. Like you're all just hanging out, being friends and stuff on stage. So how do you? I mean, I mean, obviously siblings, but for the rest of the band, how did you guys kind of form the way that you perform on stage? I think it's really yeah. It was kind of just a natural way. We just got into a, a rehearsal space and just spent you know like when we first got together, we just spent weeks and weeks in this in this space, just kind of trying to jam out and have some fun. We just kind of felt like the, the more we put into it, the more fun that it was, you know, instead of just standing there and playing the instruments and singing the songs, right. if we just like jumped around and just like had a great time with it, get it work out at the same time, which is great. You, you learn what works and what doesn't, and what shows you do, and I think, um, yeah, it's just been a bit of trial and error with us. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, I do have some fan questions from Twitter as well. Cool. So, we saw you cover your tour mates, um, Blossom Song Roads. So, what is your go-to karaoke song for the It's hard to go past in heaven in Australia, Bohemian Rhapsody by yep. Queen. Yep. I think it's probably yeah. the, the go-to. I love um, the karaoke meatloaf. Uh, I would do anything for love. <laughs> it's just so... Uh, it's great. I love it's the very dramatic. That the company of the karaoke. Oh, yeah. Like seagulls. They're always very appropriate. Always going along with the <laughs> Okay, so next question. We saw that Amy posted wise words on Twitter a few days ago. So, what's your personal motto or wise words and wisdom? What did you post? <laughs> it was um, uh, beer before liquor, number yep. number cigar, <laughs> um, toothpaste before orange juice, death. No, 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 my no. wise words. That is actually okay. really, really intelligent. Mm -hmm. yeah. Everyone needs to know that one. What would your wise words be? Ooh, mine would probably be a bit more. Um, in depth, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> nah, my, my, my Twitter, on my Twitter account, it says, "Yesterday is gone, so live today like there is no tomorrow." And live in the moment, stay in the present. Oh yeah. I have no idea. Yours is more just, everyday. Uh, His is more so like. It's just a fun day. Yeah. 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 <laughs> like, a real white. Hers are real too. It's all about living in the moment. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next one. So you guys are songwriters, obviously. Are you always writing even when you're on the road, or how does the writing process go for you guys? Well, I think it's it's 
we definitely come up with ideas, but uh, it's to have a finished song because there's three. There's actually three songwriters in the band. Jason is the third songwriter, and, and for us all to be in uh, you know a room together and, and like not exhausted is, is is kind of rare on tour. But we've definitely got all these um, like really cool ideas, and we can't wait to get back into the studio in August and develop into into full songs. It's kind of um, you know when you start to conceptualize the second album, which which we're currently doing, it's. It's quite tough to do it while you're still in the like the still phase. Yeah, you're still, yeah, you're still the through the first album, album and you're in that headspace constantly and just playing those songs over and over again and it's it's kind of hard to to smell the coffee in between the perfume, you know, you know what I mean? So that's that's what we're uh, I mean we've definitely got these great ideas that we're keen to get back and develop. But uh, in terms of like completing songs on tour it's really tough. Yeah. Our next album, you know, we've changed a lot as um, you know, songwriters and people so we're not uh, planning on writing another Bombs Away. Right. Yeah. Well, I mean, Bombs Away, I mean, it came out in Australia way before it came out here. Yes. So you guys were already touring those songs. Yeah. So when you came over here, was it, oh, I've got to tour these songs again? Some of these, yeah, some <laughs> of the songs are like over five years old now. Yeah. So, I mean, the album came out in Australia a year ago, just over. Um, so yeah, it's time for some a fresh material. We're excited for it. So you're going back to the studio in August. That's right, yeah. It's just, we're spending a month with our producer, Stuart, and uh, we're really just sort of going to go in there and have just all these discussions and sort of conceptualize where we want to go and what ideas we have and just experiment a little bit with maybe a, like a song or two that we've, we've kind of started on the road. Right. And just see where that goes and it's like, we don't want to get on the same page and just kind of take it forward from there. But we're, we're all very excited. We all seem to have these really sort of grand ideas about where yeah. we wanted to go, which is, which is pretty cool. I can't wait to hear it.